number six. Now, here's the big question. By the way, this symbol right here, with the, the theta with the line over it, that says what's, that's the reference angle symbol. This is the reference angle for that angle. So now, knowing the reference angle, I can answer the following questions. What is the sine of negative 7 pi over 6? Well, here's what it's going to be. It's going to be the same as the sine of pi over 6, but the SIGN could be different depending on the quadrant. What's the sine of pi over 6? 1 half? Everybody agree with her? You right? So this is going to be 1 half, but is it going to be positive or negative? Remember, which, which coordinate is the sine of it? Which coordinate is the sign? Which coordinate is the sign? It's the y coordinate. And so if you told me I'm in quadrant two, the y coordinate will be positive. So this will be positive one half. And what's the cosine then of negative seven pi over six? Well, it's going to start out as the cosine of pi over six, which I know to be square root of 3 over 2. <coughs> and now the only thing I have to determine is, is it positive or negative? Yeah. Because it's the x-coordinate, and in quadrant 2, the x-coordinate is negative. Now, something you should take note of. I went through all of this stuff. And in the homework, you're going to have to go through some of this process. But what do you notice about the denominator of my original angle and its reference angle? They're the same. So you can pretty much say, oh, seven, negative 7 pi over 6. The reference angle is going to have to be pretty darn close to pi over 6. Not guaranteed, but pretty much, I mean, it depends. If I were to give you like negative 8 pi over 6, then the reference angle is actually going to be pi over 3, but you'd figure that out from, you could reduce 8 pi over 6. If it's in its reduced form, it's going to be related to the same thing as denominator is. All right. That's interesting. So there's reference angle. We figured that out. What about 11 pi over 4? So let's start with where is 11 pi over 4? We've got to vote for the first quadrant. Do you agree with that?
Greta was from over two. Does everybody agree with her? Yeah. Yeah? You're okay with it being positive? Because in the quadrant two, the y coordinate is positive, and sine is our y coordinate. What is the, I hope it says cosine, cosine of 11 pi over 4? Same thing, just negative, because remember our pi over 4s match. Anything with pi over 4s, the coordinates match, except they might differ by a sign, S I G N sign, as opposed to you know, positive or negative. And our cosine is the x coordinate, I mean the y coordinate, x coordinate, so it is negative. I said it right in quadrant two. What's the tangent? Well, remember, tangent is the sine of the angle divided by the cosine of the angle. So it would be square root of two over two divided by the square root, negative square root of two over two, so that will give me negative one. And do I have any more? What's the secant? Secant of 11 pi over 4. So I've got both for negative radical 2 and I've got one for positive root 2. Is it negative? Why is it negative? What is your secant related to in terms of the other? It's a cosine. It's related to the cosine. The cosine is the which coordinate? X coordinate. X coordinates in quadrant 2 are negative, so it's going to be negative. And all I do is flip my cosine over, so I end up with the square root of 2 when I simplify it. You could write 2 over the square root of 2 if you wanted, but you don't have to. Okay, now I have a quick question for you about um, tangents and cotangents. In quadrant one, is your tangent and cotangent positive or negative? Positive. Positive. What about in quadrant two? Negative. Why is it going to be negative? Because what? Because only one of them is negative. So if one of them is negative and one of them is positive, in terms of sine and cosine sines, S I G N, then when you divide a positive by a negative or a negative by a positive, you end up with a negative for your tangent and your cotangent. What about in quadrant three? Positive, positive because both your sine and your cosine. <coughs>